Hello, hello, hello. Can you guys see me? Is all good? Mirkuna, I feel I should check because my last two times I was on mute. <laughs> what is up, guys? Kaniz will be joining us <laughs> shortly. So, until then, let's chit chat. Um, what's up, guys? वैसे भी मेरा भाई मुझे बोलते रहता है कि आई ट्रस्ट पीपल वेरी इजिली एंड आई शुड नॉट ट्रस्ट पीपल एंड आई एम ऑलवेज है अरे नहीं लोग बहुत अच्छे होते हैं इट डिपेंड्स देर आर गुड पीपल ऑल्सो इन दिस वर्ल्ड वी शुड लर्न टू ट्रस्ट पीपल फिर ये हो जाता है मेरे साथ इतना लाइक सच में मेरे मन में इतने सारे कॉन्वर्जेशन चल रहे थे पता है उस मोमेंट पे जो जिससे नहीं देखा एटलीस्ट वो मोमेंट जाके देखना आई एम श्योर इट्स इन द टाइम स्टैम किसने किसी ना किसी ने तो डाला होगा या उसका मिनी क्लिप तो पक्का बन जाएगा तो वो देख लेना पर बहुत मजा आया लाइक इट वाज सो मच फन एंड एपिक एपिक स्ट्रीम बिकॉज फो प्लेयर चेस एनी वे यू डोंट टेक इट वेरी सीरियसली ऑल्सो सो इट वॉज अ लॉर्ड ऑफ फन and i got my revenge <laughs> so i was feeling very good nahi to nahi to aisa lagta hai someone just came and walked over you you know and left like <laughs> and you couldn't do anything <laughs> so i was feeling like kya hai <laughs> but um uh you want to see the chess board beside me okay um i could actually show it but uh just the mom fine i don't know i don't know if it's a good idea kiki na i'm like always like okay i'll i'll just show it wait wait ah uh, this is oof not so easy to do this that's that's my chess board and um this is a book which my uh, which my cousin gifted my brother when he started playing chess when he was a kid and looks like it's time to welcome our guest so now the obs is going to uh, go him hey wire please excuse me but our guest is here Hey Kaniz hi 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 Kaniz so you fixed uh, fixed the issues everything's okay Yes I can hear you very well Okay okay great I'll just uh, set you up on the screen we are live <laughs> no that's fine so i was just chit chatting with them uh that's completely fine mera to hamesha last moment ka issues rehta hai so my chat is used to it <laughs> my... <laughs> it's it's completely fine and uh how have you been kanis i've been following your vlog vlogs vlogs <laughs> Oh, you're muted. Ah, uh, why are you muted? That's very strange. Okay, just one minute. <clears throat> one moment. I'll just. Uh, I can hear you, but why are you muted? Ah. Uh, I don't know. Oh, one moment. 
Yeah, guys, can you hear you? Can you hear Kani's now? Yes. Yeah, now? Wait, I'll mute myself and let. Can you? Yeah, can you guys hear me now? Now? Can you guys hear me now? I can't hear Somya. Oh. Chat. Chat, chat, sees. Yes, they can hear you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now they can hear you. That's great. That's great. All right. I'm just going to put this on silent. All right. I'm and, ready. Uh, a moment. I'll get you on the <clears throat> other setup of board. But yeah. Yeah. Till then, can you please tell us how you've yes. been? And... Yes. You continue doing your thing. I've been good. <laughs> um, yeah. If you guys haven't checked out my vlogs, please check them out. Yes. On please my check YouTube out channel. Kenny's channel it's yeah. amazing um, mods maybe mods you can uh, put the link i wanted to like put this ad but mujh se wo jamai nahi mera na technical knowledge itna oh, kam no, hai like don't, yeah it's um <laughs> yeah it's uh, the amount of things i have to do when i'm like posting i'm like that takes up more like the amount of like i have to post in community and then on this, my social media and then tag the right people and then do this and i was like oh my god there's so many things to do every time you put up a video on youtube <laughs> that's um, true but but they're yeah. fun and i have watched most of them i have watched your uh, goa vlog oh yeah uh, with uh, prashasti then uh, your nani ka was very sweet <laughs> it's yeah i i like my my vlogs are very um I, it's either things that i enjoy They're doing real. or with people that i love like it i feel like it you know like the more you do content the more you kind of figure out what your voice is um they're personal like more personal they are more personal they are a bit more like the people in the vlogs are really the real people who are friends in my real life um whether it's biswa doing my makeup or <laughs> we terrorizing uruj's card and tomorrow oh, yeah. I, yeah i tomorrow yesterday i recorded a really cool vlog that i'm putting out next week okay Um, we are going to this, look out for that this chef and i went and foraged actual food in like in bandra like we were cutting things from trees and we collected actual like food that we came home and cooked and it was all food that we found like wow in the urban like uh, it's called urban foraging it was really fascinating <laughs> so really wow that's really epic that's yeah. really epic um, and i wanted to ask you one thing before we go on uh, chess to the chess part because it was women's day as well and uh, mm. uh, you are a female comedian even though obviously you are a comedian i yeah. mean uh, but yeah. still is it different and uh, is your audience sort of different like how has how is your feeling because in chess as i mentioned to you today mm. like today we'll be seeing a game by a women's world champion awesome. which which we usually don't see right like till yeah. now everything that i have shown you automatically i have shown you men, I, it's not a conscious decision by the way i know i know i know same like when we like refer to like great comedy in history it's mm. always ends up being like men <laughs> and and their comedy and again it's not something we consciously do it's just i guess historically more men have done comedy but i like what you're doing i think the only way it changes is if we if like people like you and me start like uh, referring right. to females um the females art or female games um and then just we'll probably learn i i feel like all kinds of people do things differently so it'll be really interesting to learn how um this yes. particular person approached the game you know yes um, yeah Thank so you. i'm i'm really excited to yes me too yeah um kani akani everyone wants kani's hindi mein baat karo ye abhi are yaar me try me koshish karo magar kitna karo bhi kitna magar me koshish karo great great so uh let's go to our game so uh kanish uh, can you see my you um how do i share my screen with you what do you It's mean a great question which i didn't think through okay but we've done uh, this before haven't we 
<laughs> no, because today I'm just sharing my Zoom. Okay, I'll just do one thing. Um, maybe we can. Uh, I, I'll, I'll. On your do... Zoom call, you can share a screen with me. No, I'm just sharing my Zoom call on the OBS. So I'll just change my OBS to. Uh... Yeah, right. this is complicated now. How do I share? The... Can you? Um... Do you want me to open? Ah, can I can I can do one thing. I can do one thing. I'll share the game link with you on the okay. chat cool, and cool, you can cool. open it on your screen. Cool. I'll do that. I hope this works. Otherwise, we'll figure out. Okay. Otherwise, Technical it's... question, which I... Otherwise, this is going to turn into a podcast. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> this live is going to turn into a live podcast session. Uh, just a moment. I'll just go. Yes. Um... Okay, let's so, try to do this. I'll share it on your uh, WhatsApp or Zoom. Where do you? Uh, want Zoom. To? You can put it on Zoom. I'm just waiting okay. for a message on Zoom. I'll just open it immediately. God, I haven't played chess in so long since the last time since the last comedies on board uh, championship. Um, when I kind of got really into doing my vlogs, but I'm really excited to get back into it without the pressure and just learning yeah. it as another skill in life. I, yeah, now there is no pressure. So actually yeah. it will be more fun, I think. Now it's like I want to go to chess school <laughs> with Samya. I'm really <laughs> glad that we are doing it, by the way, because uh, uh, like it's one thing, like I'm really happy that you're interested in chess. Like for me, it really means a lot. Yeah, <laughs> I, I thank you. Yeah, I think it's just also... I, I think it's cool to learn things like new things that's yes. all yes. and like it's nice to learn something new and, and I'm getting the opportunity to do it and I'm getting like the one of the best chess players in the world to teach me I'm like I'm very grateful that I get this opportunity thank you so yeah so I don't want to squander it <laughs> so I have shared the link can you are you able it's open? to open it yes it's open and I've arranged everything on my screen so I can see you and the board oh you have the Amazing. I'm and so the live bad. chat. I've got everything open. So if anyone wants That's any questions. Amazing. Yes, we got this. This is epic. Uh one moment. <clears throat> Just one thing needs to be fixed now and then we are right. good to go. One more thing to fix and yeah, then done. we got our chest lesson. <laughs> yes. <laughs> done. Um so I guys. Aaj hum jo <laughs> game <dekhenge. laughs> Kanis, the game we are going to watch today is between two of the greatest women chess players in history. So Aaj you and? Flip. Uh? <laughs> uh? <laughs> that's <Okay>. very sweet. <laughs> okay. Not, that's not yet me. <laughs> this is, so white here was Judith Polgar. Okay. Uh, you have you heard of the Polgar sisters, uh, I, Kanish? Because I'm they are like uh, they are basically three sisters from Hungary, and okay. their parents uh, basically decided before they were born uh, that they will make them into geniuses. Like his, the fa their father had this belief that a genius is made, not born, and nice. he that's why made like charted out how their life will be and everything and they homeschooled them the parents and uh, they uh, like introduced them to a few different topics like maths and uh, chess and maybe uh, I think music and they showed uh, the eldest sister showed an inclination towards chess at a very young age so then okay we chess mein dalenge inko, you know and then she became really strong. She actually went on to become women's world champion. Her name was oh. uh, name is Susan Polgar. Okay. And now she lives in uh, USA. And the second sister also became really strong. Susa, uh, second sister was Sophia, sorry. And she also became really strong, one of the strongest uh, women's chess players of all time. And the youngest of them were all is Judith who uh, actually uh, not at the age of 12, she became women's world number one. Wow. I mean, 
that was like <laughs> what are we doing with our lives guys yeah, like completely incredible and uh, incredible. very at a very young age she actually even stopped participating in women's events she started participating in open events okay. because she felt she had already uh, reached the top in the women's section and now she wanted to wait uh, i i was not aware of this but in chess there's a female and male yes section? there is a, a chess uh, so a there tournament? is open yeah yeah so there are open tournaments in which women can also participate in so they are open basically and there are separate female uh, tournaments so there is a f- open world championship and a female a women's world championship why is there a separate championship championship for women <laughs> it's a huge huge topic <laughs> i mean because it's not like sport where like i understand like the men and female body is different so you you need different. yeah it's a huge topic and unfortunately no one has done a phd on it yet so we okay. don't know but uh, it's also true that statistically men are uh, better at chess as of Okay. until today at least is that does does the fact that there are less of females also play a part in those in that creating that statistic 100% yeah. like uh, in india for example only 16% of the total rated players federated yeah. players are women correct so it's very very small and this is just about india so in the like world, i feel if we get to a place where it's equal then we can like bring out statistics and be like then it makes it for a fair comparison yeah uh, but until we get more females out there it's difficult to like i feel exactly. like the statistics will be skewed um, exactly this is actually a very uh, controversial long debate and uh, there there is there are many ways to approach it so one of the ways uh, the world chess federation decided to approach it was to make a separate women section so that it will encourage more women to participate okay, that's it. That's and introduce it. prize money you know there is a way to earn money as well from it otherwise mm-hmm. you obviously can't make it a career right like unless you're winning prizes so um that's why the women section was introduced but they also kept the option of playing in open section okay that's cool then right so uh, then judith started playing in the open section and she reached up to world top 10 So that was really cool. She's the only female in history to have reached world top ten, actually. Really? Yeah, yeah. So actually, it is it is hard. I mean, and one of the reasons is definitely statistics. But um, yeah, she she did make it. And uh, but this game, I want to show you from the black point of view. So Judith okay. here was white, and her opponent here is Nona Gaprindashvili. She is from Georgia. uh she is eight she'll be 80 years old this year okay <laughs> this game was played in 1990 chess olympiad oh wow and uh, nona is seven uh, has been world champion for 17 years world champion yeah she was the world champion from uh 19 like, world, champion, world champion women's world, world champion, champion. she was a uh, women's world champion for 17 years uh, the second uh, and then uh, they basically you know in georgia they have a huge program for women's chess they have a lot of strong players from world, uh, georgia wow. and she was also she's also georgian at that time it was soviet union of course yeah and um, she lost to another georgian player called maya chebudanitse and uh you know the most fascinating part about her nona like for me apart from all these accomplishments is that she won a tournament a elite level tournament it was a, like um, not a women's tournament it was a, a mixed event like open event but yeah. a round robin elite level tournament at the age of 64 guys i have 30 years left Okay, we can do this so, so for me practice. like it was like what like yeah. how are you so competitive at that age like that's so cool that's yeah. so cool it's so I cool thought, to keep to keep having that fire you know um, yeah i thought that was like totally incredible and um, this was in 2005 okay so i just thought we could go through one of her stunning victories her. against has- judith I just want to before we start if you don't mind I don't yeah. need to interrupt you but I just want to show you guys my niece playing chess. Oh wow. Uh, oh my yeah. god. My niece is learning oh how to play god. chess. 
That's so and cute. She realizes her dad made her. Um, this is when she realized uh, she's a bit stuck. Uh, <laughs> like her dad made a move, and she's like, "Oh, whoopsie daisy." <laughs> and that's her being like, "Uh oh, I oh could play God. daddy." <laughs> that is so cute. So uh, we're all learning chess in the oh, Sarkar family. Wow. And you can also Sarka play chess also. against her, with her. Yeah. No. <laughs> I, I told my brother to set up a chess.com um, uh, profile and I'm going to play with, with my niece. Oh, online. wow. That's, that's yeah. going to be very cool. Yeah, totally. <laughs> that's very cute. Thank you yeah. for sharing it. <laughs> no, he, my brother said it to me today. And I was like, oh, I'm doing a chess stream today after so long. What a coincidence. So Yeah. Like the universe conspires. <laughs> I'm really excited to see this match, um, this game. Great. And so let's go. Uh, try not to look at the notation on the side. Right. Uh, so anyway, I've just cropped it to just the board. So. Oh, awesome. Awesome, yeah. awesome. So Nona was black here and white played E4, E5. So we saw some of this stuff when oh, we were three moves. Yeah. Uh, learning chess. And uh, now instead of defending this pawn, she also develops her knight. So the opening is not so important, but okay. we can just go through it a little quickly. So now, let me know if you're not following something, Kanish, because I'm yeah, going yeah. a little fast. In the no, opening. no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm with you right now. Awesome. So now the knight is attacked. Yeah. So she supports it with the pawn push so okay. that her knight remains centralized. <laughs> okay. Then... Uh, her opponent also took her pawn. So now the position material is equal. Mm -hmm. Then she develops another knight. Okay. She, uh, her opponent to... takes it. Oh. And then she takes it back. So it's still equal. Mm -hmm. uh, Judith now shot castle. Okay. <clears throat> And now uh, okay. she played an aggressive move like queen to h4. Okay. Um, and, all right. Was she trying to threaten anything? Yeah. So now like she could put her bishop here next move. And now then right. both the bishop and the queen look at h2 and then the king is slightly in danger. Cool. So, so uh, her opponent was not afraid of it. So she played c4, attacking black center. Okay. And uh, black decided to long castle. So you remember this, Kanish, yeah, okay. like long castling? Yeah, I remember long castle and short castle. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. So uh, she decided to long castle. Now her king is also much safer than it yeah. was on e8 because it has this shield around. So white is uh, also trying to attack black. White played c5 here. Okay. So white will try to push her pawns okay. towards the black king and try to create weaknesses. Okay. And another idea of c5 was to also prevent bishop d6. Oh, on, uh, okay. Because now if d6. he plays d6. this attacking d6. the h2 square got it white she can't simply... she can't play that move exactly so i can simply take it so um that's why it's like a multi-purpose move c5 it prevents black's ideas and it also helps white to create her own ideas. okay 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 oh so shouldn't uh, sorry just the question yes yes shouldn't yes, she shouldn't <sighs> I, 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 of course, protecting your king is of utmost importance. Mm -hmm. But shouldn't she have played that move when she could have? That bishop chasing the behind the queen move when she could have? Yeah, she could have done that, actually. Uh, wouldn't she, wouldn't she have been checkmate? One move earlier, right? Instead like, of... She, yeah, downcast. instead of castling, if, right. she, if she moved her bishop... Right, great question. D, she could have played this. Yeah. Uh, so, but white would not have allowed queen. So your idea is to take on, like, let's say I play a random move here, like something like this. I ignore what you're doing. 
Or let's say you don't ignore. Let's say you do move G to up. Let's say you move G to up. Oh, you don't need me at all. Sorry, no, no, I do. do. So that's the point, right? Like now black is threatening queen into H2 with the support of this bishop. So that's why white will simply block this bishop's diagonal with G3 and at the same time attack the queen. Ah, okay. Okay. So it was possible to play this, but then the okay. king remains in the center. One more move, yeah, you have all to right. move your queen. And fair, the, fair. there is no checkmate. <clears throat> fair. So that's okay, why fair. she decided to long castle instead. So white, yes. um, <laughs> let's see, five. Sorry. Yeah. And now uh, he, she could have played like a calm move, like bishop to e7 or something instead of bishop d6. But okay. she wants to be aggressive and attack White's king. Okay. So she decided to play g5 here. You okay. know, when you push your pawns ahead, you gain a lot of space. Because right. the pawns control a lot of squares and the yeah. pawn is the uh, smallest valued, uh, valued uh, piece on yeah. the board. Yeah. So... Uh, that's why um, it even if it exchanges with a pawn, it's okay. And if it exchanges with a piece, it benefits you. Okay. So it's it's great to push your pawns and occupy more space. But the only uh, reason why people hesitate is uh, either it's hanging, it's free. So <laughs> it's not possible to just push it. And second is it also creates some weaknesses. Because now suddenly right. you don't control some squares which you were controlling before with your pawn like the squares behind the pawn become weak so like if the king was here instead of here it would have been very weak because its shield went away correct yeah but like if you uh, you took b7 if you move b7 then you you be right exactly yeah Yeah. so that's why it's not a good idea to move the pawns in front of your king but it's a great idea to move the pawns in front of your opponent's king so that they threaten. Oh, okay, that's a good tip. Okay. Huh. So that's exactly what White is also doing. Like, see, why she pushed. Okay. So, uh, White ne knight c3 khela yahan pe. She's just developing her pieces. Okay. And here, uh, the d5 pawn is attacked. But yeah. instead of supporting d5, White dis- Black decided to attack. White's d4 pawn and at the same time develop her own piece. So it's again a multi-purpose move. Okay. She's developing and also attacking. So she is not playing defensive at all. Matlab, hamesha counter attack yeah. Kar rahi hai. yeah. This is one of the things I really liked. Uh, but uh, yeah, but yeah, okay. It's not always possible to do it. That's true. It won't always work out. But if there is a chance to uh, like be aggressive, then it's uh, kind of intimidate your yeah. opponent as well. Like even psychologically, it's hard to face uh, it's like, someone. It's like that you guys, do you guys know about the haka in rugby? No, I don't. So the All Blacks do this like really intimidating, aggressive dance where they're like, eh, akamata, akamata, eh, eh. and they do this really intimidating like warrior dance before they play a rugby match just to like unnerve the other team because oh. it's so aggressive and in your face. So <laughs> Wish we you could should... do it in chess. It would yeah. have been. <laughs> you guys should check out the haka. We should, maybe next time we should do that. Before oh, I yeah. start, I'll just do the haka. So, is it... so my opponent's like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> Oh, before your next tournament, Kandiz, we yeah. have to do this. <laughs> I'll do the, I'll do the <laughs> Great. <laughs> You're okay, from cool. South Africa. That's why you know these rugby references. Yeah, that's because, yeah. It's huge. Influence. I have I have watched this movie, by the way. Um, Invictus? Yes, Invictus. Yes. It's beautiful. Really it's beautiful, beautiful movie. Beautiful. Very inspiring. Guys, if you haven't watched Invictus, please do. It's please amazing. watch Invictus. You'll really learn about how South Africa you know, came into a, a democratic country without, you know, the, the violence and the backlash and how Mandela handled bringing white people and black people together so beautifully without making anyone feel feel angry 
about the injustice that took place or feeling angry about you know being attacked like and so he he made he just did a brilliant job of doing the opposite of polarizing to opposing communities in in a country as opposed to making them fight against each other he brought them together and you should watch that movie yeah very yeah. and very original way as well right yeah, very original such an original and he learned a lot from gandhi so right um gandhi ji yeah anyway sorry <laughs> no no it's it is inspiring for sure yeah तो बिशप जी सेवन खेला ब्लैक ने समवन आस्ड इन द चैट क्या इस टाइम कंट्रोल क्या था इट वाज अ क्लासिकल टाइम कंट्रोल गाइस इट वाज दिस गेम वाज प्लेड इन द वर्ल्ड चेस ओलंपिया 1990 सो क्लासिकल टाइम कंट्रोल व्हाट इज क्लासिकल टाइम कंट्रोल क्लासिकल इज लाइक द लॉन्ग गेम मतलब जो जनरली हम लॉन्ग गेम खेलते हैं ओवर द बोर्ड जब चेस खेलते हैं लाइक इट इट वेरीज फ्रॉम टूर्नामेंट टू टूर्नामेंट बट यूजुअली एट दैट टाइम Uh, 1990 में जो टाइम कंट्रोल था इट वाज लाइक टू आवर्स ओके फॉर फोर्टी मूव्स एंड देन फोर्टी मूव्स के बाद हाफ एन आवर ऐड होगा आपके वन आवर या हाफ एन आवर ऐड होगा डिपेंडिंग ऑन द टॉनिक ऑनलाइन दे आर इधर रैपिड और ब्लिट्स यूजली दे आर रियली फास्ट एग्जैक्टली सो बिशप जी सेवन खेला तो अभी ये अटैक है एंड इफ बिशप कम्स टू डी फोर देन ब्लैक विल हैव टू पीसेस इन द सेंटर एंड रियली स्ट्रॉन्ग वंस यस सो दैट्स एंड एंड इट वुड बी अटैकिंग टू पीसेस या सो जी जस्ट सेड सॉरी या 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 एक्जेक्टली नो यू आर कंप्लीटली राइट तो एफ टू एंड सी थ्री दोनों अटैक हो जाए इसलिए कैन व्हाइट कैन व्हाइट डू समथिंग टू स्टॉप दैट सो व्हाइट प्रिवेंटेड इट विद नाइट टू ई टू हियर but as you can see white speed position is very passive ab uh, matlab yeah. she has gone back with her knight yeah her bishop is still not developed rook not developed aur uske uh, jo white hai unke sare pieces maximum third rank tak hai like there is one bishop on third rank right. okay, to knight right. hai second rank par and baki sare pieces first rank pe hai and the and the pawn is on the fifth rank yeah the pawn is on the fifth rank but it's also not support like uh, there is no friend of his to you know <laughs> go along with him akela hi hai wo wahan pe matlab so zyada kuch kar nahi raha hai matlab yeah there is like there is white ke matlab pieces ek to queen bahut sahi baithi hai yahan pe she is like really happy to be on h4 controlling like really mm-hmm. threatening the black, white king and knight is also very happy centralized knight is always you know Uh, हमने ये सीखा था कंट्रोल्स मैक्सिमम स्क्वायर्स इन द सेंटर ओके नाइट या व्हेन द नाइट इज इन द सेंटर या एंड द बिशप इज आल्सो क्वाइट हैप्पी एक्चुअली ये अटैक कर रहा है सो ब्लैक स्पीसेस आर रियली डूइंग वेरी वेल एंड वेरी हैप्पी टू बी देयर दे आर एक ही बस पीस है जो कुछ कर नहीं रहा है यहां पे h8 पे सो रहा है वो रूक सो शी डिसाइडेड टू ब्रिंग द रूक टू द गेम एज़ वेल सो नाउ बोथ द रूक्स आर सेंट्रलाइज्ड एज़ वेल they are in the center and uh, like really well placed <clears throat> so now white plate queen e1 okay uh her idea here yeah what is why what is why ha huh, exactly to yahan pe na white could have played f3 here for example theek hai to decentralize this knight because this knight is really strong yes uh for f3 also white could have gone back knight f6 or she could have also sacrificed with f5 so i think you could say that again she could have gone back knight f6 saved the yes. knight yes yes yeah or or she could have sacrificed the knight with f5 okay. the idea is that after you take it black will take it with the d pawn and now these pawns it's called a pawn storm you know when you just keep going ahead with your pawn right. you, like you don't care right <laughs> and you can create a pawn storm and uh, in this particular position it's okay to play this way even though you're a piece down because your all your pieces are really active or 
uh, your pawns are so active and they are controlling so many important squares that white's pieces, even though they are uh, materially white is up, white ke pieces ko jaga nahi hai jada. So yeah, yes. yeah. So cramped ho gaya hai white ka. So why did the, why did she move the queen to e uh, to e one? Ah, uh, so that's. So white, that's why I played queen e1 first with the idea to play f3 on the next move. Okay. Because after, let's say I play king b8 here, okay? Uh, just to demonstrate white's idea. She would have played f3. And now after f5, she will first take the queen, exchange the queens and then go for this. So in middle game, mein pawn storm is not that strong. Kyunki yeah, queen exchange ho gai hai. Yeah, so the black, immediately the pack, black feels a little um, uh, like the power has been taken. Ha, exactly. So checkmate ke ideas come ho jata hai once you, the mm. checkmate ideas reduce once the queens get exchanged. So and she did that? feels much safer. So she did that, she played that. So that's why wow, she played queen e1, but black is also uh, alert. She understood white's wow. idea. Okay. So she didn't allow it. She played knight f6 back. So okay. she removed it. Like, usne prophylaxis bolte isko. like when you anticipate what your opponent is going to do and you prevent it. Okay. So abhi f3 ke legi to white will just play queen h6. Or white could also exchange the queen, but at least she doesn't give up the knight, you know. Okay. So that's fine. <clears throat> um. So... I'll just check the chat in case they are not following. Oh. Hey guys! In guys chat. Hope... Hello, hello, Sorry. hello. Sometimes <laughs> I just get so into it, I forget. Um, um, yeah, I think we should make a, a special Hakka dance specifically for chess. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it like on the board. I'll be like, Hakamata, Kamata, da. And I like, can just put aggressively play. <laughs> Yes, why not? Pieces. <laughs> and um, so, here, knight f6, uh, khela white, black name, white played queen d2. No, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So she played e, I'm sorry, I'm still at e. It's fine. E1, e1 and one then khela. what? Aha, and then she moved her king, her, her horse, uh, the color, whatever. Oh, yeah, Hoda piche le liya. So, white ne yaha pe queen d2 khela. Okay. So she's attacking g5 now. Got it. Because she has two attacks and only one support. So white decide a uh, black ne wapis knight e4 khela attacking the queen. <gasps> okay. And also supporting g5 at the same time. Got it. Okay. So here white could have played queen e1 back and it would have been the same position as before. And then black could have maybe changed instead of knight f6 she could have played something else. Uh, she could have played maybe g4 or uh, something, hmm. some other move instead of knight f6. But uh, white decided to play queen a5. She also wants yeah. to play. Yeah. Yeah. king ki taraf. Okay. So, ye pawn hanging hai, abhi a7 ka. So, black ne support kiya apne king se. <laughs> and now white played f3. Okay. So black decided to go back with her knight. Okay. And uh, she could uh, <clears throat> she could even think of giving up her exchange on the next move to take this centralized pawn. Sometimes it's okay to like give up material uh, if you are getting uh, a big, uh, like a rook is higher value than knight, but here. You get a knight and a pawn and that to a centralized pawn. Okay. So it would have been okay to play this way also. Next move. But white ne g3 khela. She is not giving black time to Got it. play rookie too. She is attacking the queen. <clears throat> she saved it. Queen h5 khela. And a4. And this okay. is like uh, the main position of the game where black showed a really beautiful idea. So and what was the reason of putting a pawn underneath the king on, on, on A4? Uh, Just underneath the king, queen. 
Uh, the queen, sorry. Hmm. Uh, no, she just wants to create a pawn storm and she also, like this rook is not doing anything at the moment. Okay. So okay. she also, uh, one of the ideas is to develop the rook here and to bring okay. it here so that Got it. Uh, black ke king ke saamne, um, Okay. So she's just, op she's just opening up that space. Yeah, she opened okay. up the space. Got it. And this is like a really important position of the game where uh, black played an incredible idea. So chat, you can also try to guess or tell me just what you would play in this position. And um, maybe we can think for like a couple of minutes here. Okay. Is So the queen's not really threatening anything. Okay. Right. White is not really threatening anything at the moment. Yeah, that's yeah. Accu okay. accurate. So she doesn't need to go into defense mode. Um, okay. Mm. Can she bring the queen to H3? Oh, that's actually a good move. Uh, uh, she didn't play it, but that's a good move uh, to try and uh, close up. attack. Attack, um, okay. But... White's king, but she could have played it on the previous move also. Huh? Pe G3 ko bhi oh. H3 but okay. she decided not to play. Okay, for some reason. Uh, actually, the move here is really... Uh, tough so uh, it is a sacrifice a peace sacrifice basically uh, it is about sensing the moment as you mentioned correctly Kanis, pe white is not threatening anything immediately yeah, yeah. none of white's uh, black species are attacked at the moment Correct. so black can actually start creating his own threats now he doesn't need to prevent any she of white's she she doesn't need to prevent any of <laughs> <laughs> uh, she doesn't need to prevent any of white's uh, ideas god okay and correct, she correct. can create uh, chances new opportunities yeah yeah so uh, let's see what are white's uh, weaknesses in this position um sabse pehla to uska king bahut weak hai because uh, usually apna king dekho yahan pe teen mast apne soldiers baithe who are guarding our king par uske king ke samne dono squares weak hai ye dono kyunki usne yeah. aage unko bhej diya hai theek hai to isliye like you can like you can trap the king in there you can uh, what do you call what do you guys what's the term not hot box checkmate no but when you there's a term where you back corner corner yeah so, uh, yeah you can corner him and you can also um uh, basically um uh, ye jo diagonals hai ye, ye jo diagonal hai ye bhi weak ho gaya hai because you have pushed this pawn mm -hmm. and the king is on this diagonal got it so this is one big clue here in this position which we need to consider i mean why can put a bishop there next uh, you mean black? Because white can't. Because it will be free. Like yeah, guys, put the bishop don't there. put the bishop there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, fair. Okay. So, you, uh, black, white can't do it. But black, if black manages to, for example, get her bishop on this diagonal, mm, she is oh. like super happy because she also gets a check. Correct. And um, her bishop is really well placed on this diagonal. Okay, um cool. okay but yeah so where is she what is she so why doesn't she do that so that's what she decided to do she wants to put her bishop on this square which at the moment is not possible because of two reasons first of all the knight is on f6 yes so it blocks the bishop so first thing is to remove the knight and the second problem is this knight controls this correct. square correct so these are the two issues so she decided to solve both of them in one move with the moon knight to g4. 
uh, it's it's a really tough move to understand because you're giving up a piece but once we realize what she's trying to do we can maybe make sense of it for example abhi uh, main abhi agar white kuch nahi karega to queen into h8 checkmate h2 checkmate ho raha hai kyunki yeah. knight supports the h2. correct so white has to take on g4 she can't correct. let the knight remain there and once you take it uh, black you open that it. whole thing up exactly white will take it with the queen by the way she will take it with the bishop so now her bishop is also active which wasn't on d7 it yes. wasn't really active so now her bishop is also also active her bishop attacks the e2 knight and if um uh it, there are basically three attacks on the e2 knight now and only one support so even if white defends it with rook f2 you can still take on e2 and you you will win a, your piece back okay and if you go like knight c3 here let's say then you simply take on d4 because now uska chala gaya na support She Goda? did not play knight c3 here. She played another move. But okay. let's say agar knight c3, she played knight f4 here. But okay, so this is this is where we are in the game, right? We are on this position in the game. Yeah, okay, cool, cool. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Arrow is kaise hota? Ha. But if she had played knight c3 here, let's say. Okay. So our first move we already know because that was our intention. We were going to give a check on d4 once yes. the knight moves. So we play that. and let's say the white king goes to h1 yes so here we have to give him a check and uh, like it's almost cornered basically ye ye chala gaya hai so we give the check with the bishop ha the other bishop ha to ye bishop se hum check denge to ye bhi square control ho gaya and if she takes it with the rook we take it with the, the queen, queen. and it's checkmate and there is one more um move for option for white in this position she can go king g2 here instead of king h1 so yeah. not in the corner it also controls the f3 square yeah but this is also losing because we anyway Because... give her a check from another square So the bishop with the, controls with the rook. Uh, the rook, yes, we can, but then the knight as well as the bishop controls it. Sorry, that so won't be very effective. But we can give her a check with our queen. Oh yeah, because the bishop's controlling um, h three. Great. So queen okay. h three. Yeah. So the bishop uh, supports the queen. King has to go here. And then, and then but you move the bishop pe, down. हाँ यहाँ पे देर आर टू वेज टू चेक मेट सो यू वॉन्ट टू मूव द बिशप टू एफ थ्री टू एफ थ्री सो लेट से रूक इन टू एफ थ्री देन वी गो होम एंड स्लीप नो दिस इज करेक्ट दिस इज करेक्ट यू वॉन्ट टू फाइंड देन वी मूव द क्वीन टू जी टू एंड वी डू द फूल या द फूल बट द फूल ऑल्सो नीड सपोर्ट क्वीन इज नॉट बींग सपोर्टेड बाई एनी थिंग Oh, it's not. Sorry, so the king can take her. Ha. Huh. But you know what changed after this rook moved? It doesn't control the back rank anymore. It rook back rank. That's the term I was looking for. Back rank. Ha. Uh, okay, back sorry. rank. Okay, okay. <laughs> so now the back rank is not guarded. Okay, now I can see the arrows of the. Sorry, rook. I'm, I'll remove the back rank. I'll remove the arrows. The arrows so, were anyway not useful, ah. Huh? Uh, the. Oh. Ha. Huh. Okay, but if we did move the rook all the way down, great. 
here. Okay, then we're checking it. Then okay. where he'll go? He can't go anywhere. He has to put ah. something in middle. Correct. Oh yeah. So he will go back with his route. But then we'll take it. We'll take it. And then the bishop will take it. So we'll take it with the queen and check it. Okay. Yeah. Great. So that happened. That happened. Brilliant. No, she didn't play this from white. Oh. She changed her move. There was another checkmate which was also pretty. I'll just show it. Here, pe king g2, queen h3. If he plays this, there was another checkmate tha, which is also very cute. You can take it with the queen. Then he takes it. Uh, she takes it with the bishop. You give her a check on f3. Bishop to g2. And now it's mate in one. It's checkmate in one move. With the rook coming to e1. And the bishop yeah. can't go back because it's already pinned. Ooh. So this was also like a queen sacrifice. Ke checkmate is something. It was a good move moving that rook to the middle there. Yeah, exactly. You know that rook was sleeping yeah. on h8 and she brought it in the yeah. center. Exactly. We never know how when our pieces will come useful. So it's better to bring them all into the game first. And, then and also play. sometimes to bring them so that it doesn't become obvious what your move is. Because if she huh. moved the rook, then like you know exactly like, huh. like what she's thinking. Huh. But I mean, you know chess it, players can, but all, can think of everything. But you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. Like if she had moved it right now, she moved it long ago. Yeah, so long cool ago. Jate, huh? Exactly. Cool. Okay, but then, so what, but then what happened? So, uh, she did not play this for this reason. She didn't move the knight to c3. She moved it to f4. So, she wants to create chances for herself. Ek to usne abhi oh. queen ko attack ki hai. Yeah. And also, she controls h3 square with the knight. Yeah, to wo the queen. queen h, uh, matlab, the queen h3 ideas aate nahi hai, jo humare previous yeah. line mein aara tha. Or knight g2 ko bhi jata hai. Uh, in case kuch defend karna hai. Yeah. Ye three strong ways. position. Haan. So she uh, first gave a check. Uh, okay. Then instead of taking, it's always good to give a check and ask ki tum kya kar rahe ho. Anyway, hame check to dena hi hai na. Okay. So king g2 pe gaya. Now the h3 square is defended. So, she took the knight because it was uh, guarding h3. Now, bishop into f4. So, now the difference is that the rook has opened up after the bishop left. So, the rook guards the back rank. Okay. Uh, Samir, do you mind just going back one, two plays? Yeah. Why couldn't she have... So, why couldn't the black have moved her bishop from to f3? Here. Here, right? Yeah. In this position. Because the rook uh, would have taken. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, never mind. I don't know what I said. No, no. I forgot. No, Sorry. No, please ask me. No, no, no. I know, I know. Um, no, okay. I don't. Um, you yeah. thought it was uh, also hanging? The rook was hanging? No. You know what I thought? I thought huh. the, I forgot that the rook could take. I thought the king would couldn't take it because the rook was protecting it. Right. But the rook can just take it. Okay. Sorry. Right. Okay. I got it. Sorry, that's what I was thinking. Sorry. Yeah. Continue. You probably thought that the rook needs to be on the last rank because we were talking about back rank, back Oh, rank. no. I just didn't even like, yeah, okay. my brain didn't think, oh, the rook no, can just fine. take it. I was just like, oh, the king's trapped. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but that's not the case. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. So then, sorry, we, so we're two head, two moves. The in knight. It. She yeah? took the knight. So, bishop se le liya. So, Abhi, uh, the back rank is now guarded because the other rook also guards it and the queen also guards it. Yes. And also, white has threats of her own now, by the way. We must not forget that. Otherwise, mm -hmm. it's e easy to overlook. But, so, like, uh, you mean the white has, like, she can, she's threatening or? Yeah, she's threatening oh, bishop into c7 now and taking the rook with the rook. How, Sorry. C seven. Uh, C seven. Here, can you see my arrow? Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Okay. So, here she will attack the king and the rook at the same time. <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah, the because queen's the, there to protect her. Uh, yeah. okay. the queen, abhi hame thoda dikkat degi. 
So, so whose turn is it now? Black's turn. Now it's black turn. So okay. she defended it. She blocked the bishop. Hmm. So she played c6. So she's trying to open up uh, black's king. Because white. Um, yes. Yes. She has to create some threats, na? So bishop c8 khela. Queen b4. Uh, but now, as we see, it's already defended. So. Uh, basically uh what black is now going to do is just defend her position because she's a pawn up first of all if we count okay. the pawns okay right materially she's ahead right and also the white king is still unsafe isn't yeah. he was safe ho gaya. yeah he's pretty exposed so the only thing now black needs to do is first of all make sure her king is safe she doesn't get checkmated so she has brought her pieces to defend uh, herself. And once that's done, she'll again continue her attack. Okay. So this is also supported. So she played bishop d6. Khela. She wants the queen to move away from. Okay. And the queen b3. Um, she took on f4. Took f4. Okay. And she brought her rook in. So she's being like very aggressive. See, very all aggressive. her pieces are going in. And say, Udhari nahi kuch time pass nahi kar rahe. So she played queen c2. Why is she to go protect the king? Okay, got it. Yeah, because first of all, this bishop is also pinned. That is another problem. Right yeah. now. Yeah. So, uh, uske na white ke Goddess, pieces yeah. nahi hil rahe, matlab, easily. Yeah, yeah. And white, black will now maybe double up on the e file. Yeah. And yeah. create threats. Okay. So, easily. Okay. So, she played queen c2. She wants to go near her king with her pieces now. That's so, a, that yeah. she can defend. protect. So, queen h3 check kia. So, the bishop on c8, it defends on b7 as well as keeps an eye. So, it's very oh, yeah, uh, yeah. useful here. Yeah. Really useful piece. Uh, she played king to h1. Uh, she took rook into g3 here because uh, the pawn is pinned. So now she's two pawns up. C into b7, bishop b7. Now the bishop c, now the bishop was on c8. Tabi bhi achha hi ta, par abhi wo b7 pe hai. And now this like completely open. In front of the king, yeah. Now, if she gets, if she gets to push this pawn, the bishop will be completely open and attacking the mm -hmm. white king. Okay. She played rook f7 here with the idea to play queen c7 next move. Okay, and, and then uh, have that protected. Yeah. Yeah, checkmate. Ho so black is very calm. Black just defended it. Okay. Because her threats are still there in the position. She just needs to defend white threats. So, okay. uh, white played bishop b5 here. So, at the moment, um, is she building? Is she, okay. Yeah, please ask. Please say, Kalis, what is it? No, no, was she taking the bishop up to take away the rook? Uh, you care. mean on d7? Ah, okay, okay. Ah, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> you mean sorry. Here, yeah? sorry. D7 mm -hmm. to threaten the rook. Sorry. Oh, yeah. That is exactly what she's threatening. Oh, That's okay. Fa fantastic. But uh, we also need to understand that right now there is no threat of checkmate against black skin. Hmm. Because this checkmate threat is defended. So now we can actually create a threat. Like we can actually start uh, giving checks to white skin. And... Um, so actually here if from black what would you like to play I'd like to play <laughs> um, if, if it's your if it's your game I was I'm thinking from white's point of view from sir for some oh, reason oh you like white's but, position here but actually I thought I don't like the position I'm like I'm go underdog <laughs> <laughs> So, can okay. you like one thing I would like to point out is why black is better here is not only because of the material, he's just one pawn up here actually. 
No, no, it's not. It's not. It's not, it's not, it's not the, I wasn't comparing the better or worse. I was just. Uh-huh. I was just. Compa- I was just like. Right. I want the underdog <laughs> to win. <laughs> uh, supporting right. Um. So she, black, she would move. Okay, wait. Let me start. Let me think from black's yeah. point of view now, because I was like from I'll just, white. I'll just say what are white's weaknesses in the position. Okay, ek to white ka pawn down hai, materially kam. Ek hi pawn down hai, but theek hai. Main problem for white is her, her king, you know. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Too, totally so trapped. Like if you give her a check, it's checkmate. Because she really can't move anywhere. But um, she can, right? Like, okay, so if we move the rook to G1. Uh, ah, but okay. then she'll take it. Like That she'll take it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so let's move rook to a g8 and then let's move queen. Okay, let's do one at a time. <laughs> what if we move the rook up again? Anywhere. Which which one? This one? Yeah. Here? No, I think maybe we can move um, him up so that when we back. move the queen, so he can back up the queen. Ah, uh, here, this way. I was just How saying like, even to... if, you, if you take How... the rook to like even... Let's say we just take him all the way up to 8, G8. Okay, you want to make... But, uh, like, what is your idea? My idea is then next move, if we can, we move the queen to uh, G2. But this is already protected. The square. Uh, uh, huh, okay. Oh, then if the queen takes it, then the bishop, the rook can't do that, obviously. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay, then the king will just take the rook. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, okay, mind. Okay. And also, you could have played this even here if it was possible because the rook anyway supports it. But the problem is that the queen defends the g2. Oh, square. yeah. Okay. So, actually, uh, what we can conclude is our rook is very well placed. That means. Okay, fine. Because uh, g8 pe ja ke yes. bhi wo wahi function kar raha tha jo g3 pe kar raha hai. Right, right. Right. And queen is also very well placed because we have to checkmate here. But, but that queen, okay, defender. so we need to get rid of that queen almost, or threaten uh, that queen. Uh, we could do that, or we could use another piece of ours, which is not doing any function at the moment, to give a check to white. Is there another piece which can also give a check to white? Check to white. That's not doing anything. Um, wait, I'll just reply to chat. Someone suggested a variation, so I'll just reply that. In in one move, Samya. Uh, it's not checkmate. It's just a check. In one move. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yes. We can just move the pawn. Yes. We move 5D yes. to 4D. Then the Excellent. bishop is, is checking the king. Excellent. So we just removed this uh, cover, which we didn't need yes. for the bishop. And now open up the bishop. Excellent. So it's almost checkmate. It's just that white can still, still there. cover this square with her bishop. Yes. And if oh. we take it, the queen still supports it. Yes. So, and it also, someone in the chat, I just replied to, uh, I'll just, one second, what was her name? Uh, someone in the chat, Puravi Mohota. Yeah, Puravi Mohota actually suggested a variation here. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't work, which was bishop into bishop. Queen takes bishop. And then you play rook to g2 or queen to g2, but it doesn't work because queen still covers g2 from c6. So what we need to do here is basically distract the queen and uh, okay, we, we need to distract the queen so that we can take uh, on the uh, on c6 with the bishop or can we, we can give this check. Can we uh, use the pawn again to threaten the queen and make her move? Yeah, we could do it. Uh, but it will uh, it is it will also win actually. But then uh, she plays something like let's say uh, this move, 
and uh, the bishop still covers uh, g2 square okay okay so, so actually um, here take the bishop Did she just no Did she sacrifice the bishop um here the there is a cool move where we can uh, chat and let's see if chat has first yeah, I'm read before chat. i give you a hint let's see if chat uh, no she chat has not found the move yet they're saying rook to g2 no guys doesn't work oh. rook g2 doesn't work um, okay so you said ah, they cool. meant uh, they meant rook to g2 after uh, d3 ah okay 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 no i understand they meant this which would have also worked uh let's say um let's say this variation uh here either here or here somewhere no the queen the queen's yeah and then here this would have okay. also worked because um bishop into and you have queen into g2 checkmate okay okay yeah chat you are right uh this variation also works but she found another way to uh make it work uh she basically cut off the support of the bishop from from the queen the queen is only yeah, supporting yeah that's the thing that's so that she had to use a bishop to take out the bishop no she didn't because then you take the bishop with the queen and yeah. you still guard the g2 square are yeah this bloody g2 uh -huh. square okay, so g2 if square. you can put something in between in such a way that the queen can't take it and if even if some other piece or pawn takes it uh, it still cuts off the support of the bishop because the queen doesn't support the bishop anymore kuch beech mein aa jayega basically so can you put the rook on to f3 ah c c3 you mean sorry c yes no. exactly exactly this is the, this is what she played kyunki uh, queen queen so i meant Oh, you meant uh, another move. What did you mean? I was so I was saying f three to cut off. Ah, uh, here the bishop. But but then the bishop would just take. Yeah, uh, there. Mm, yeah, I mean it doesn't threaten anything, and the rook would take take it. Basically. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, but so wait one second. If we took the rook, and the queen went to f three. Sorry, where? Uh, no, if the queen takes on f three, then the bishop also goes back. Don't got it. it. All right, sorry. Okay, fine. No, so, no, okay, no, but it's fine. See, please ask me as many questions because uh, this is the whole point. No? no, but okay. So we went to c three, which I did not see, but okay. Yeah, like it was a really cool uh, tactic. Basically, she just cut off the support of the bishop. Okay. And यहाँ पे पॉन से मारा तो अभी suddenly the queen doesn't support the bishop. Right. and then she took it uh, matlab rook c3 ko basically resign kar diya kyunki um, agar wo yahan pe uh, maregi bishop pawn se pawn to bishop into bishop check aayega king g1 ko you can bring your last piece which was uh, mm. until now not mm. participating in the attack and checkmate because after king to f2 do you want to find the checkmate here in one move Yeah, queen to f. Queen to f. E three. Queen to f three or e three. E three because f three has the bishop. Great, great. E three because it's supported with the pawn. Yeah. Ah, uh, it's actually checkmate in now. Uh, two now. Ah, uh, he will go back, and one more you have to make. uh the rook goes to g great also awesome. the arrows are giving me a little bit of hint guys <laughs> but really? i would have taken you're getting the arrows yeah oh, i am getting the arrows sorry oh uh, maybe you have like this engine on on the sorry i am getting some arrows so it doesn't that's fine. always work but sometimes it works <laughs> <laughs> that's fine actually always. <laughs> <laughs> but cool so we actually saw 
saw some of these patterns when we were preparing uh, earlier kanis when we was we saw this pattern as well but mm. the more we revise it the more it like gets fixed in our brain so yes uh, like, yes wo the point in chess is to memorize like these patterns need to go into your blood like they need to become into they need to be part of your intuition eventually right ha uh-huh. yeah um So I really I really liked this tact like the whole game basically because uh, she was so aggressive from the start uh Nona and also uh, like black the black player here and she also like we'll yeah. just quickly go through it like uh, just to show you the key moments uh like the first one was on the 7th move when she plays queen h4 yeah you know, she, she just already, went better yeah, bang yeah she already makes her uh, intentions clear then she decides on the eighth move to long castle so she didn't directly go for the attack first she safeguarded her king and okay. then she went for it and on the ninth move when white prevented her from going to d6 with her bishop she found another route for her bishop with g5 she was like theek hai yahan se nahi to main bishop g7 se attack karungi aur d4 ko okay. bhi attack karungi so oh, she always wants her pieces to um, attack white aise nahi ki bas develop kar rahe right right and uh, then i think 11th move was also important where she brought the rook to the center as you pointed out uh, so now the 11th move she brought the rook to the center and now both the rooks are in the center yeah and then um um let's say this um she she played all logical moves basically she supported her a7 pawn when it was attacked and everything and then of course 17th move knight to g4 the piece sack even though it was temporary she w- she did get it back after two moves the piece but it was a really strong move you know mm. any other move there would have just been okay yeah nothing yeah. special to be able to understand that once you get your bishop to d4 and attack the white king and for this reason you need to dislodge this e2 knight and that you can do by giving up your knight and bringing yeah. your bishop to g4 so this was a really cool uh, idea sorry i'm so sorry what was she trying to do by bringing the knight there she uh, first of all opened up her bishop on g7 okay and she wanted to bring it to d4 and attack the king on g1 a bishop okay okay uh, if you can see my arrows yes yeah yeah i can see them yeah yeah okay. yeah and af- uh, after she takes on g4 um here now her bishop on d7 which was not doing anything it's also participating in the game got it okay and it attacks it. the knight Oh, so also, she pre-planned all yeah. like to bring her bishop thought she did that move so she, all her pieces are attacking white basically okay. and even after this uh, whole operation where um she won the pawn and she she now calmly defends white threats i really liked this move 22nd bishop c8 where she simply brings back her bishop and defends her pawn on b7 uh, keeps her king safe hmm and then even here like queen b3 i mean see she could have taken on f4 even here but yeah. she is like no let's attack one more move <laughs> uske pieces ko jitna piche bhej sakti hu utna piche bhejungi main aur fir uh, i will take got it okay and even oh here, yeah smart smart okay yeah even here she could have given a check directly but she kept it in uh, reserve and she first brought her rook into the opponent's camp yes now she can even double on the e file double the rooks so um then she gave a check once all her pieces were playing she got second she got the second pawn and yahan pe bhi usne pehle apna uh, mate checkmate bacha liya and this really cool tactic in the end so very uh, alert and aggressive game so i really liked it yeah it's really nice. i it's not like i have a voice or a way of playing but from whatever i am doing in the beginning 
I tend to be a little bit more aggressive generally. <laughs> so I, I, and again, it's not like my, my chess voice. I haven't played enough to know what my chess style is, mm -hmm. but at least my instinctive style is to be aggressive. I just noticed that that's what, like even Sa when I played Saga, they always say you're very aggressive. Um, and it, it's just nice to see a match being played aggressively, but being smart about the aggressiveness, not just. <laughs> yeah, like she also defends uh, yes. her position when she needs to. Yes, exactly. Um, and I yeah, mean, it's not it's not just about being intimidating all the time. You know, sometimes you get to pull back and maybe like do two more moves so that when you do go in the face, you've got some backup, you know. Like, um, yeah, so I, I appreciate that style is what I'm saying. I will show you just one more position. It's just like one position from her game, um, which was also played in a similar style. And uh, yeah, this position, do you have it on the board? Yeah, yeah. So here she was white okay. uh, against uh, no, no. Agitse. I will show you this. Uh, her opponent is a um, Georgian chess player. This was played in the Georgian National Championship in 1963, if I'm not wrong. And um, here she's white, this position. And it looks like a completely normal position. Actually, she's a pawn down. Yeah, she's a pawn down. Uh, but as compensation, she has an open file, like for her rook. And right now, her king is safer than Black's king at the moment. Yeah. But none of her pieces are really attacking Black's king. Only uh, the rook is sort of um, nicely placed on f1. But he doesn't have any friends to support him. So, akela to kuch karni paega. So, uh, here she found a really good combination. And this is something I wanted to show you today because uh humne isse pehle tactics or uh, defense and attack ye sab sikha tha, right in the previous streams uh but like basically combination is when uh, you spot a tactic in the end like this previous game mein bhi jaise hum wo rook beech mein leke aaye yeah yeah you you spot it from afar yeah. and then you make some moves to create it yeah like Sequence of moves. And you're hoping and that this, person's not following everything that you're thinking. <laughs> so that you can secretly, yeah. But so, yeah. so this sequence of reaching this tactic is called a combination. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you mentioned that before. Oh, I did? Okay, cool. And then like in one of our lessons, you did mention it. Oh, okay, okay. So here she spotted a mating checkmate idea on black from afar, from this position. And then she went on to find a sequence of moves that is a combination which helped her to bring that, that position on the board. Yeah. Okay. So she starts out with knight h5 here. Uh, so, yeah. At, yeah. Can you see the board? Yeah, yeah. So basically right now she's attacking the bishop. Yes, that will check the king. Hmm. But it's also free. The knight is free. She can just Correct. take it. Black can take the knight. Yeah. So black took the knight. And here is like a, the most, one of the most spectacular moves that can be played. It's a really beautiful move because she already sacrificed a knight. So she's a knight a piece down. And she was already a pawn down, right? When we started seeing the Right now, she's a pawn down and a piece down. And here, she even gave up a rook. Okay. So the king <laughs> came not... out. Yeah. So, the only idea of this uh, sacrificing the rook is to bring out the king, as you have Correct. Uh, mentioned. And let's say if black takes it. Hmm. she He did not take it. Black is also a good yeah. player. So he okay. spotted the combination. So he did not take it. Uh, 
because here basically you would take the h pawn with the check with the queen yeah and then the bishop's there and the bishop is here so it covers yeah you can't squares. move anywhere uh, you can just move back up ha huh. you can go back up so let's say you go here yeah so you again give a check now there is back rank problem because see this these pieces even though yeah. they are ये तो दोनों डेवलप ही नहीं है तो सो रहे हैं और ये दोनों डेवलप yeah. है पर yeah. कुछ कर नहीं रहे दे आर नॉट नियर ब्लैक स्किन टू हेल्प हिम राइट तो इवन दो दे आर डेवलप दे आर ऑफ नो यूज इन दिस पोजीशन एंड देन यू ब्रिंग आउट द रुक मे बी वाओ कनीज एक्सीलेंट सो इफ ही पुट्स द बिशप इन बिटवीन व्हिच इज ओनली वे टू प्रिवेंट यू ब्रिंग द रुक आउट या एंड इट्स चेकमेट ऑन द नेक्स्ट गॉट इट ओके बट बट द ब्लैक डिडंट टेक द बिशप ऑफ द किंग Yeah, so he he didn't I mean, take the, the rook. rook. The king. He didn't yeah. take the rook. So uh, he uh, he played queen e five here. Okay. So now white played a move which forced black to resign on the next move. So I'll just give you a hint. Abhi, agar ham queen h five check de sakte hai usko, to ham ji uh, jayenge ye position. Hai na? Yeah, so we need to move the rook. Yeah, exactly. You I mean, the rook is in between that. Exactly, but if we move the rook anywhere, then the bishop is attacked. So black will take the bishop and also defend the h five pawn. So the then you want to put it in between the queen and the bishop. <laughs> Great. I mean, you you're telling me that you you're saying protect the bishop. <laughs> <laughs> but you're finding everything on your own. I mean, then, it's it's not easy. I mean, I, no, I know no, maybe no. you think it's easy, but it's actually not easy to find these moves. No, I mean the ro- the rook thing. I know because like you are like helping me. Like that is a pattern that's getting in tra- ingrained uh-huh. in my head now. That previous rook one was like, uh-huh. okay, well, let's get the backup going at the bottom so that we can do stuff there, to, and so we have protection there. So that's like a pattern that I'm recognizing, not fast, but like quicker every time. Uh huh, and. another another reason why this move works is not only because it uh, uh blocks the queen's attack on the bishop and it enables this check like rook f5 as you have pointed out but uh, here black resigned the problem wait, is wait wait so but but if the queen took the 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 why did she why did she resign yeah he resigned because uh, queen se liya to main pawn se le lungi और अभी एक तो मेटीरियली भी मैं अच्छा है मेरा uh, मेरे पास एक क्वीन है एंड यू हैव अ नाइट एंड अ रूक ओके दैट्स ऑल यू हैव आई इवन गेंड बैक माय पॉन ऑन एफ सेवन एंड आई आल्सो गेट दिस पॉन एंड योर किंग इज स्टिल वीक सो इट विल गेट चेकमेटेड लाइक मैं मे बी नॉट इन वन मूव बट इन टू थ्री मूव्स एटलीस्ट सो समटाइम्स यू समटाइम्स यू चेक यू रिजाइन टू रिटेन सम डिग्निटी Yeah, like in this Queen's Gambit, yeah, he says, "Now you resign." Yeah, yeah. Do, do you remember that episode? I right? remember that episode. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's like that. Like just out of respect for your opponent, he. Yeah. Yeah, of course, your opponent sees it. You know. What so a classy you know. game! What a classy game, this chess. <laughs> I really appreciate the classiness. Okay. So, uh, he can't take it with the Queen for this reason, and if he takes it with the with pawn, the pawn, this uh. now the position has changed the pawn structure has changed and so the bishop has opened up can you see when it was here yeah it was not pointing oh. on itself but now after ef5 the bishop's diagonal opened up and now oh. it covers this square so after queen h5 check and king f8 now this square is protected with the bishop got it got it got it and this will be your fool ka main And lotus lotus checkmate lotus checkmate so yeah this is it's it's also similar to the previous one because the rook came in between yeah and uh, yeah. also very aggressive game again is that her style in general no no style uh yeah in general i think women players um uh, uh to play uh, more a- aggressively i have it's my we're like why aren't you giving us equal opportunity <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's my observation and generally like 
I don't know. Yeah, that's fascinating. That's fascinating yeah. to to. Uh, yeah. And unfortunately, I haven't studied so many of her games. Yeah. Uh, maybe we should. A, maybe we should in the stream. Maybe like the next time we like, let's, yeah, that's let's my study plan. Nona's. Yeah, let's do Nona. Let's study Nona's. Um, yeah. Game. We could, yeah, we could. Yes. That, that 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 was the plan actually. Someone is raiding us, and I don't know who it is because they are saying. Uh, she not Discord people. raid. Are yeah, she not? I I think it's a fake raid. It's Devik Agarwal. Your it's the can same person raiding, so cannot be. Uh, yeah, raid. your moderator can just mute him for the next hour or whatever. Yeah, definitely a fake raid, and none of my mods are watching this stream, so. It's okay. We don't. Need no reference. Yeah. Oh, Vidit, Vidit Pans, Rishi is watching. Thanks, Rishi. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah, guys, please don't spam. And uh, so, Kaniz, was it interesting for you to? Very fascinating. Um, Great. Like I again, it's been like almost whatever six months. No, not but four months at least. Uh -huh. Since I've like played uh, every now and then I'll play a match on chess.com, but not even in the last few months. Um, and just to like, it's interesting how my brain hasn't forgotten too much. <laughs> yeah, I was worried. It hasn't. I was, yeah. I, I was also, uh, you know, when you told yeah. me yesterday that you haven't been seeing chess, I maybe so chriti pele stream ke liye zyada ho jayega kya, but you like completely. No, yeah. yeah, no, but yeah. I. And Swami, if we can do this regularly, I would yeah. love that. If that's something you're willing to. Me, me too, me too, me too. Yeah. I'm really glad that. Uh, and I, I just, you know, like, you know, you don't know how good a teacher is till you play the game. And honestly, my game against, against Kush, I know I lost. But no, no, like, but you're, really I, well. I really remembered so many things you taught me and told me. And I, I'm so glad I got to apply them in a, in, a, in a match with the stress, under the pressure and the stress. Uh, because that's when your brain really like that's when you know if you've remembered stuff obviously um so i just think you're a phenomenal teacher so thank you like i just love learning with you to be honest thank you Kanti. It's yeah amazing. it's a very loving caring environment to learn something in <laughs> that's important <laughs> Thank you, Kaniz. It's very yeah, sweet of you. Yeah. And yeah. I'm very glad to do as many streams with you. Like, it's very exciting for me as well. Yeah, you know. let's let's do this. Like, yes. you let me know when you're doing the next one. And yes. let's do one a week if you want. And like, while you, yes. other days you do something with somebody else. Let's do yes. one a week. It's Kaniz and Samya session. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can make it like a... That's yeah. what, you know, when, before you joined, there were people in the chat asking... Kya tournament hai? Why is Kanis preparing? And I like I am so glad to tell them that Kanis wants to learn chess. Just how to preparing. learn. <laughs> I definitely give the I give uh, some of tournaments credit to, for you inciting this interest at all. But yeah, yeah, um, but now I'm like, yeah, let's just learn it. Cool. cool have cool, a skill cool. in life. Yeah. Great. Yeah. And Thank I can beat you. my niece. I will take my niece down. <laughs> Oh, it uh, would be so fun. Uh, please let me know when you play against her. Huh? Maybe we can, like, if she's like not to, I can speak to her and maybe she can like, we can, me and her can be on your stream and we can play one game. Oh, I would love that. Yeah. If yeah. She, she feels, she's she seven feels years fun. old uh, and she can oh, play against very cute. her 37 year old Masi and we can like play against each other and see like. That will be very cute. I also yeah. started learning chess at seven. But oh my god! <laughs> well, maybe I should introduce you to her. Honestly, so she has like some mentor and guide her and guidance in life. If, yeah, if something. Would love I don't know her. how interested she is, but she plays all the time. So yeah, yeah, I would love to meet her. And in general, like you know, uh, chess is like really good for kids. Like I, I know it sounds as if I'm promoting my own sport. No. I say, but. Uh, I really believe it. Like, I have all my nieces and nephews at least chess. I have to learn to play chess. You have to play chess. You have to play chess. Like, I really feel like it helps you in uh, uh, concentration and decision yeah, making. Yeah, and, and pattern, pattern recognition. recognition yeah. um, like, that's yeah. that really it works a part of your brain. Like, I honestly, after these streams, I get so tired because I'm using a part of my brain that I haven't used in a long time. But... Um, yeah, this is, let's do this. And Great. please, if you guys are a chat, if you have like younger siblings, like, uh, you know, like 
to make them watch the stream as well. We'll keep it super clean. So don't worry about that. I'll make sure I keep it very clean. But please bring along your siblings next time. Um, oh, yeah. That would yeah. be nice. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, Kanis, for joining. Thank, thank you so much school. for having me, Somya. Super great. Bye-bye. I'll see you soon. You message me whenever and I'll, I'll, be, yes. I'll be available. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, awesome. Bye-bye. Bye, chat. Thank you so much for watching and supporting. Bye. Oh. Okay, chat, let me just uh, uh, minimize myself. I'm too big on the screen. I look like a giant. Yeah, now it's fine. So, yeah, thanks for the raid. I'm not really able to understand who's raiding. Uh, Srinath, uh, <clears throat> Srinath raid. Thank you, Sri, for the raid. Um, yeah, it was really, it was really great to, uh, see these games with Kanis. I wanted to see some games of women's world champions and great women players and also to have Kanis on the stream and just dono saath mein ho gaya, bahut sahi laga and I was really glad to see, um, that, uh, unko sab kitni achi tarah se yaad hai and to see her interest in the game really makes me very happy. Um... I'll just read a couple of super chats that I missed. Chess with Suyash in Marathi. Okay, shout out to your channel. First of all, uh, Chess with Suyash in Marathi streams in Marathi, guys. It's really cool. Uh, check it out. I have two games. One is my game. And one is Dubov game. Dubov game was very good. Soumya and he has suggested me a game. Uh, he has suggested to uh, analyze Nona versus Rudolf Sarwati. It was a great game. Even Mikhail Tal was inspired by that game and he credited her for that idea. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will check it out. Thanks, Suyash. And uh, Tapan Krishna sent a super chat saying, I'll be happy to be a mod and help you out, Akka. Okay, I'll make you mod, Tapan. How do I make, a, make you a mod? Um, th there is some fake raid, I am sure about it, right? Like, uh, but whoever, uh, um, in case someone raided, thank you, and in case someone didn't, then also it's fine. Okay, I don't have to understand, guys. Or, uh, Tapan, I couldn't find you. That's the reason I didn't make you a mod yet. And Shubha Ramchandran says, new subscriber, love the vibe, lots of... Thank you, Shubha. So sweet. Thank you. Um, did I miss any any of my other super chats? Which miss kya kya? Uh, Kunal Mule says, if you two are preparing for COB, all the best for you two girls. Ah, we are not. But thank you. We are actually, as I mentioned, we are just learning chess together. And Narayan says, can you teach Mother's Mate? I actually did teach it. Uh, I actually did teach it in my previous uh, lessons. Manu Gurtu says it's not a fake rate. Okay, thank you then. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, uh, Sri. I guess it's Sri's rate. So, thank you. Um... Ha, Tappan, I found you. I'll make you a mod of it. Okay, done. Um, Ankit Rai says, when can we see you commentating again? Soon, guys. I'll announce it. Soon. Uh, <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll announce it on Insta. So, please follow me on Instagram. Pe follow karna. <laughs> um, or... <laughs> um all all good right okay guys thank you so much for watching um i should go now thank you and have a great evening bye bye kya plan hai aap sabka i'll watch uh, quarter finals in 1 hour and uh, then i'll sleep 
and I'll have dinner before that. That's my plan. What's your plan, guys? Um, Shubha Ramchandran says, any plans to start memberships? Not yet. I don't think I'll start memberships unless the chat doesn't behave well or something. And otherwise, I won't. I won't ever start like membership. At least that's what I think. Okay. <laughs> Great. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye, 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 bye. Have a good evening. Thank you for watching. And like the stream, guys. I don't know if I don't know if I don't know. So please like the stream if you liked it. And um, subscribe if you haven't. Okay. Manu, Manu says CCT and then regretting not sleeping on time is his, is his plan for tonight. That's, that's a forever, <laughs> forever plan, yeah. Narayan says, okay, what do you have for dinner generally? I have pori bhaji, which is roti and sabzi. Today I'm going to have egg bhuji, though. It's slightly different. <laughs> Okay, guys. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night.